Hey folks, so can we get a classic Chrome look uh, out of a Lumix camera? It's a question I've been asked. Let's watch on and find out. So classic Chrome is uh, quite a hard simulation to emulate outside of a Fuji camera and we're recording on it on my uh, XS10 actually right now just so you can see what it's like uh, out of camera and shortly I'm going to bring up some um, shots I took on the Lumix with a custom profile I've created and I'll compare them to JPEGs straight out of the Fuji camera. Now we've got to use JPEGs out of camera because we have to use the colour science of the camera. You won't get the same kind of colour science if you uh, take RAWs and then process them in Lightroom or a similar program because those programs have unique ways of processing it. We're trying to see what happens when we get the out of camera JPEG. So Classic Chrome is uh, a kind of uh, documentary street photography style of uh, picture profile actually. It's got a reasonable amount of contrast to it but in the same time it's got quite muted colour so it's a little bit uh, de saturated and it's a very nice look out of camera. In fact, it's one of my favorite um, film profiles. It's actually based on Kodachrome um, reversal film um, technology, if you like. Um, and as I said before, it's it's a quite interesting um, film simulation because it manages to be quite muted in some areas, but in the shadows be quite contrasty. It's a really unusual profile and this is to say why we have to do them in camera uh, rather than anything else. Now I'm going to bring the pictures up on the screen uh, now so you can compare them and I have to say I think I've got quite close with the colour saturation um, and the contrast um, not quite as contrasty and where it was more difficult is you'll notice that um, the, the Lumex is a little bit more yellowy in the um, well, in the yellow parts of the image, there's there's more to it. Whereas you've got um, a little bit less um, tonality, if you like, in the sort of yellows of the um, the classic chrome. So there's less saturation um, on classic chrome on the actual Fuji camera. So it's not exactly possible to emulate it entirely. So it probably comes as no surprise as as, as to say that you can't get the exact look out of a Lumix camera. I wouldn't expect it to. Um, years and years of research has gone into creating the film simulations in Fuji cameras. But don't let that put you off experimenting. You will get close and I'm going to bring up the settings of the profile I created on screen. Give it a try, see what you think, have a tweak. As I say, you might get closer. You can play with the white balance. The difficulty with playing with the white balance is that, that is, it's going to be baked into the JPEG. Um, and if you shoot at different lighting conditions, you may get different results. Uh, so I was shooting under natural light indoors uh, with these uh, test shots. So have a go, see what you think of the profile I've got, see if you can do any different. Um, and basically have a play around. The, the joy of having a camera is you don't have to try and emulate something another camera can do. You can just play around with the profiles, see what you can create that's unique. Anyway, folks, I hope you like this little insight into film simulations and trying to do them on other cameras such as the Lumex S5. Um, and I hope to be doing more videos like this as we look at part, some of the other film simulations that Fuji have, because as I say, I shoot Fuji and I shoot Lumex. So um, do remember to like the video if you got value from it, subscribe and click the bell for notifications, and I will see you all very soon. Bye.